everybody. I would like to introduce you to my friend Marie. Hello, Jess. It's good to be here. Today. Hello, Marie. I yes, I guess that that's what you do. This is going to be very raw. I'm not professional at this interview. You're even behind glasses right now. So I am, and that's, I'm, I'm, it's too bright for me. So. Okay. But okay. this is my dear friend. Um, came to visit, and we thought it would be a fun change up of. Uh, my videos to have her do like a little fun interview. So yeah. she's she's amazing at interviewing and so she's uh, Taken this on very well and strategically and here we go. Okay. Well, so this means I'm gonna ask the questions mm -hmm. And we're gonna hear from you today. Okay. So I wanted to start uh, broadly a bit You know, I think you are what I would call a woman in transition mm -hmm. You have in the past year and a half changed where you live Yes. You've sub, sub changed where you live from a trailer that mm -hmm. you're on the road with to a home. Mm -hmm. You've gotten engaged. Mm -hmm. Your fiance has left for another country. And you're living on a military base um, in sort of a season of transition there, too, because yes. you have different abilities on what you can do mm -hmm. based on the fiance status versus wife status. So yes. everything we've described, oh, and you've also changed jobs as if that wasn't enough. So everything we've described would be a stressor in itself and something that would be difficult mm -hmm. to deal with and it's it is for everyone how are you right now and how are you thriving because I know you're thriving in the middle of all of this mm -hmm. yeah honestly it's really nice to hear you say that because I don't think I've actually put it all together like that before so I think it's nice to hear like all of it put together from like an outside perspective because I'll forget about these little pieces mm -hmm. that are like stressing so I think I'm doing good um, I'm trying to remember the things that I was supposed to uh, uh, oh yes new friends I so in the last week I have uh, am I supposed to talk to you in the camera or what it could be however you want. Okay. I, don't, I feel like we're not doing production quality. <laughs> no, so, we're not. so this is my water hose here yeah. back here. So come on, come on to the the question of um, what you're saying about the past week. Uh, the past week, yes. So uh, in the past week, um, I've. And I had kind of talked about this in a previous video, but I've been to uh, some more of the stroller warriors, um, uh, of, and I've been making some more friends through that. And but now it's a stroller warrior for people who might not yes. be military. Yes, so stroller warriors is, I, I believe it's like an official military trademark and uh, it's where they go and at least what they're doing here is they run out for 15 minutes they come back they run back for 15 minutes and they do a little workout and it's free and honestly the women I've met so far have been really amazing and I've been to three so far and I'll be going they could happen like every Tuesday and Friday at least on this base and it's just it's just a cool way and there's no like pressure of like who you are or what or if you bring kids or not or you bring a dog you bring your friends you can bring family you can bring whatever you want and you bring old kids whatever and it's just this nice place to be like you just come and show up and that's there everybody's happy just to, to invite you to so, that so a chance to if you will come back to our original theme of how are you handling the stress in your life mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. emerging friends I think we're gonna hear a little bit more about that yep. in a bit and then uh, exercise yes yes uh, absolutely, yeah, and the exercise is a huge piece of it with the chemicals that are yeah. able to reset and whatever. Um, okay, then uh, new friends. So I have met a lot of new people with going to these kind of sorts of activities or like some like coffee meet and greets or like wives meet and greets and, and whatnot. And it's been insane. I feel like in the last week I've made more friends than I've made in the last two years. So. That's, that's really exciting to me um, and I'm like kind of timid about it because it's like I don't want to like get too like jump in too quickly and get too excited about it but <laughs> I made like a friend down the, the road um, it, it's been really nice to hang out with her she's a Christian so we've been able to have some really good conversations um, about like our faith and how we're being challenged or what's difficult in life and Is this how we the one can brought dinner last night. Mm -hmm. That was a great dinner. Yes. Yeah. yes. Thank you for that dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She's amazing. Uh, and she's been very, very sweet and so uh, and been very kind to invite me and, and there's a little like a new jalapeno pepper plant that she her husband um, sent over, so that was fun. Uh, and then just little like connections here and there are like oh uh, there's another girl that's going to be going to something called Links with me, and I don't remember what the 
acronym stands for, but it's for like new people to the military. And it's an entire full day. It's from like 8.30 to 4.30. Uh, you go to all these classes, they give you a tour and they go through just everything to give you an overview and give you insight into what the military life is like. So getting you a bit more context so the things mm -hmm. that come at you every day, you can have mm -hmm. a clearer understanding of why. Yes. And yes. maybe some options for how to navigate mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Living your best life. Yes, absolutely. And it's it's interesting. Like you don't attend it. I guess I could have attended it as a girlfriend because the girl I'm going with is actually just a girlfriend. But I guess is sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't say just because I was just recently. Status, yes. I was just that status. <laughs> But I, I do feel there is a, a level of commitment to it, I think, now that I am a fiance that I didn't have before. You're, you're perceiving that mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Uh, so for new friends, and then what was the last thing? I think you wanted to talk a bit about some of the work opportunities you can explore. Oh, yes, yes. So I um, have been looking at some some job uh, opportunities and this that so the friend down the street uh, she recently applied to a preschool around here that's just out the front gate and I kind of asked her some questions about it and one of the, there's another girl at the stroller warriors who actually works there and I had kind of asked her some questions about it I ended up applying and for those who don't know I do have seven years of preschool teaching in my past so it's something I've been really passionate about in my past <laughs> so I applied and I have an interview next uh, not next week it's like I think the 12th oh yeah by the way I didn't say it's uh, July 2nd today yes today what, is July what day 2nd. of the deployment are we on uh, 50 I don't know, 57 58 the nice thing is I don't actually have to remember that I do that after okay, <laughs> okay. Like so little... this, this will be subtitled later <laughs> yeah. okay so um, and how many remain Oh, no idea. No yeah, idea. he doesn't, he won't probably know or get his like flight back until probably November. But oh, you have a general November. idea? A mid November. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a lot of uncertainty on top of uncertainty. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, as someone who's known you since you were 12, mm -hmm. uh, which we won't put the number of years that's been, but it's been quite a while. <laughs> yes. I, you know, you have always been very social, so I'm happy to hear you're getting out there and being social. Um, you connect very well with small children, so I'm happy to hear that might be an opportunity, although mm -hmm. I think you do lots of things well. Oh, um, thank you. I'm just here to support whatever choice you make. <laughs> thank you. Um, one other question I had, you know, you have been an adventurer as long as I know you and have known you, and you were adventuring all over the country for a while, staying in lots of different places, the most interesting Instagram feeds I've ever seen, mm -hmm. and now you've been in one spot for mm -hmm. a while. I think it's the longest for some time. Yes, especially with the travel trailer stuff, like yeah. not being in the travel trailer, yeah. Yeah, you were the first digital nomad that I personally knew mm -hmm. uh, before that even got cool. Mm -hmm. So um, how are you adjusting to being in one place? I know, you know, those things sort of emerge over time. You don't realize how long you're going to be somewhere. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like you're putting down some roots with some new friends. Mm -hmm. But um, is this something you see yourself doing for a while? or? Yeah, it's a, that's a that's a good question. I I think it is interesting trying to put down some roots, especially in a place that I know this is not where Steven and I want to end up. And um, and a lot of these friends, like, it, it, I feel like I've become more used to the, like, okay, people get uprooted. And, and whether I go first or they go first to leave to another, uh, I guess, duty station. I don't know if that's what the terminology is. But that's just gonna happen like they just moved out and she was a good person like I liked her and I've become friends with them and they're leaving in March so I know for sure they're leaving um, so sort of like change you're in one place but the change of moving around you mm -hmm. versus you going out and being the change yes yeah yeah actually I didn't even think of it like that I, it's been it has been difficult especially out here because I feel like it, it being very flat and very um, it's just the, the terrain. I, I like water and all, but I'd much rather be in a mountain, on a mountain, hiking somewhere and camping. There's not really places to go like camp around here either. This is all private land out here for the most part, as opposed to the west, which is so much public yeah. land, you can camp and adventure very easily. So I think I'm, I, honestly, I'm, I do think a lot of it is 
God's timing with, I think he's been working so much in me in just these last almost two months of Stephen being gone with um, how he's able to refine me in who I am even before I get married, mm -hmm. you know, of being um, content in what I have. And, and I'm, I have my fluctuations definitely of, of being happy or not happy. And I'm in a really good place right now because like you came out, mm -hmm. I've had these friends that have like connected with me like Two weeks ago, I felt like I had nothing. I think that's when this trip got started. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's. I feel like I'm gonna. I'm doing better now, and I, I'm trying to take that step of. I look at. Okay, what events are happening? Like I got. We went up to New Bern today, that's and fun. we. I got a little like New Bern booklet of information, and in it, it talks about like July, like events or live music or karaoke or just like movies in the park and like there's a wonder woman playing in the park in the end of july and i definitely want to go see like that's something i could do by myself yeah. i'm fine with that there's some things i'm like i don't feel comfortable with that but so i think i've been doing okay well, I'm, I, that's progress there's progress and progress can be cyclical mm -hmm. uh particularly when you have so much other stuff coming around yes so i don't know if we can make any announcements today but how's the wedding planning going and what's your latest thinking on that? oh yes so the latest pl wedding planning update and i and i think i'm fine with sharing <laughs> uh i think what steven and i the latest is is i think we're going to get married either in a chapel in a courthouse or maybe go do an elopement somewhere and just have like my parents and his parents go there in december when he, as soon as he comes back and then i think we're gonna end up pushing the wedding to spring instead of getting it done in january and i i just think it makes so much more sense for our timeline so that's that's the latest on timing of wedding although it sounds like this has been a it's still in the brainstorm stage it is okay so it is. maybe an announcement but also could have a totally different one it in a week. could totally be different in a week it's true uh, and we went and looked at one of the venues. Mm -hmm. It was a lovely yeah. venue. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. This is the one that makes me feel most comfortable because I will have Steven here to help okay. me with the planning. The and venue or the, the, the timeline for how to think about the The, the timeline. Yes. I feel a lot more comfortable with than doing it all by myself. I don't like that at all. Yeah. We, I think you're putting a lot of good thought into how to make this a process that works for you both. Yep. And it's good to take the time you need. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, you've talked a little bit about to me while I've been out here about how you're preparing for your marriage, mm -hmm. not just the wedding, mm -hmm. uh, which sounds like it's got to be more challenging given that he was here when you were starting it. And now he's mm -hmm. in a time zone where his morning is your night. How are you all working on that? That's a good question. It is a little bit harder. I would say it's a little bit harder to work on it, especially when he's gone because um, like you and I had kind of talked about, it's harder to get to those like deeper conversations. I want to just kind of throw up all this information to Steven about like how my day was or what the latest stuff I did to kind of just settle into like just chit chat and hanging out. Um, so because it tends to take me a little bit longer to get to those deeper topics, we don't have as many of them, but still I feel so blessed to be able to talk to him every morning and every evening and it's just... And we have something to talk about. He loves that companionship. I love that companionship. And I've seen you literally eat a meal together in yeah. moments of silence <laughs> yes. while on FaceTime, which is yes. a remarkable uh, way of, of connecting. Yeah, it's just it's just hanging out, you know. It's just doing, and and I'll do that with my mom too sometimes, you know, or we'll just hang out. It's just so I'm not. I appreciate the company right you know so I would say when it, I we have done a lot of that work beforehand with like the counselor and the chaplain on base so I think that it was it, that gives me a lot of ease going into it that we don't necessarily have to be really intense conversations right now I know it'll be okay yeah and you've been so it's 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 wedding planning and marriage planning mm -hmm. success of the marriage yeah success of the life transition yes. of merging um, uh, your your identities and your families mm -hmm. so uh, is there anything you want to conclude this with because we've covered a lot of ground mm -hmm. uh, in part because your life is covering a lot of ground right yes, now. yes yes uh, to conclude it um, I, I it's funny that I remember quite often since when I moved to Colorado, I felt very similar to this. Mm -hmm. And I remember it took me- I remember me, that move. Mm -hmm, it was it's really hard. hard. Yeah. It was really hard. And the first like year was uh, really difficult. I'd say first year, year and a half were really difficult for me. 
and I leaned a lot on um, my boyfriend back then. Mm -hmm. And so I think that there is, um, when people are making a big move, I tell them the same thing. Give yourself grace, do what, just what you can. Find something, a hobby that you like to do or something in your community and try to, try to get involved. It may not be fun, but it'll be good for you. And I feel like I'm very much in that same place too, where I've been out here for almost a year, just about a year and a half now, and giving myself that grace. Now I'm finally kind of getting my little settled in feeling of like, I think I'm okay. And going and doing little things here and there and figuring out myself. So I guess to conclude it, I would just say, I want to, that's something, if anybody's moving or making a big transition in their life, like give themselves time. Like you don't have to, you know, be, be perfectly set up as soon as like give, your, give yourself the space. That's it. That's, that's a, all I want. A good about. graciousness. So we're going to conclude on 30 seconds. Uh, uh, rapid fire answers. Yes. If somebody in your life wants to, or who's seen this video wants to support you, mm -hmm. how do they do that? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, Oh, you can support me by going to um, Homeland Made. Uh, that's my business. I like to make home decor. And if you have a uh, item you'd like for your home, then if it's an, uh, one of the products I make, or if you want a new product, like let me know and um, just just support my business. That's Excellent what I would marketing. Say. Also, I think uh, calls and texts and FaceTime oh, yes. go over very well with her. Connecting. So. Forgot about that. Yeah. So you can financially support <laughs> a great up and coming business and emotionally support. That's true. Um, yes. So thank you, Jess, for having me on your your blog. You. Your blog. Yeah. And it's been great to be out here and yes. great to do this video with you. Thank you so much for interviewing me. Absolutely. Thank you. And there you have it. <laughs>